All right, gonna take you guys a tour of the action zone area of Kings Island today. You're gonna come away from Kings Island Theater International Street. You're coming to the action zone. The first thing you're gonna see is Delirium, which is this uh, top spin flat ride here. Just over beside it is a Dippin' Dot station. Again, over here across from Delirium is going to be Chicken Shack. Just as you would expect, a chicken tender themed quick service eatery. It's going to take you back over this way just a little bit. And you're going to run into Congo Falls, which is your shoot the shoot raft ride they have here in the park. Great for a day like this, you need to cool off. Back here past Congo Falls, back in the corner of the park, you've got to run into a set of restrooms and we have Invertigo, or dueling suspended boomerang coaster. In fact, over there beside the entrance to Invertigo, there's a few drink stations, um, or vending machines, sorry. But that's going to be the back corner of this area of the park. You're going to want to turn back around this way, and you're going to go back over to where the Chicken Shack and Delirium are located. Back over here by Congo Falls. We're going to continue clockwise around the area. In the center of it all, there's a... Uh, shaded seating area for when you get your your treats like your ice cream over there your chicken over here you can come here and sit and wait for your party to to eat or ride rides or whatever you want to do in a nice shaded location but again over here just up clockwise Macongo Falls you're gonna have the drop tower which is this huge dude right here it goes all the way up there and you have the sky coaster I don't think is operating today. I've ridden this once. It's terrifying, but a lot of fun. It costs a little bit extra to do. If you watch, they will have specials going on on different days, so keep an eye out for that. And just over clockwise from it is Coaster Connection, another merchandise shop. You're going to have all your t-shirts and your um, probably more Banshee and Bat themed merch in here because that's where it's close to. And speaking of, continue around this way and we're going to come across Banshee. Which is a B&M, the same company that makes Diamondback and the new Orion here in the park. Suspended looping coaster, and I believe it is the longest uh, of its type. And also has the most inversions, I think, with seven. I could be mistaken. If I am, please correct me in the comments. Let me know. Something you might want to know about Banshee is they do require you to put your stuff in a locker. Uh, so that does cost extra. But it is over here next to the ride. You can leave that with someone that's not riding, or you can stick yours in a locker. Banshee has this lovely statue, sign, whatever you want to call it out front here. It's awesome. Uh, at night it lights up and screams and blows fog and smoke, so it's really neat to come back and check it out when it gets a little, a little darker. Up from Banshee, we got some more vending machines. The Sky Coaster I mentioned, um, here it's called Extreme Sky Flyer, next to a photo booth. Let's see.
and just past Banshee here, there's another set of restrooms. Um, since this one's closed for some reason. But back in the corner of the park, they have one of their haunted mazes they use for Halloween haunt blackout. They keep it in this building right here, and I guess they just keep it themed up throughout the year because they have no other use for the building at the time other than just to keep that in there. So uh, it still says blackout, even though it's a Halloween attraction. But back here in the corner is the suspended coaster, the bat. One of my personal favorites in the park. Just want to let you know, though, it is an extremely long and unnecessary walk to get back to the bat. Um, but it is worth the trip if you're in the area. It's a short line. It's kind of a short ride, but it is a lot of fun. I'll try to scoot back here a little bit, give you a better look of it. Here's a really good look at the bat that I was trying to get for you. Um, can't see all of it because it's tucked into the woods here, but this is the best shot you're going to get of the entire thing all at once. Is right as you're coming through the front of the line here. Once you round the corner, you just get little bits and pieces as you get closer to the ride. After we come back away from Bat and Banshee, we we'll continue around clockwise through the action zone. And the only other thing over here you're gonna come across is gonna be the ice cream zone, which as you would guess from the sign and from the name, it's an ice cream location. Also what I'm gonna hope is a drink location because I'm very hot and I need a break. Now I am back over here around toward Delirium, continuing clockwise, like I said, around action zone. And that's going to bring you out of the action zone. Here's the back of the Fest House, which is technically Oktoberfest area. So that's what you're going to go into as you continue on that way. Hey everybody, uh, thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed the tour around the action zone. Uh, again, check it out. I have uh, tours of all the areas of the park if you want to check those out as well. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.